Hello everyone and I hope that you're having a great day. Today I wanted to come to you with a share of some Gucci items that I was able to purchase. As I have said in earlier videos, I wanted to share with you guys finds that I have, not necessarily purses, but shoes and clothes and other things that I find um, as I go through and shop. <laughs> um, I do like to shop at boutiques and things, but I also really, really like to shop at consignment stores and estate sales. And I've actually found some fantastic things, um, which I do have one item to share with you that I did get from an estate sale a while ago. Um, and it is a vintage Gucci bag that I was able to actually take to um, the Gucci store and have uh, the end lining replaced. Anyway, I will get to that in a minute. But first, let me get to some other things because I really want to share that um, item that I was able to get with you because it's just great. Um, so to start, I'm going to start with my shoes, which I actually love shoes just as much as I love purses. Um, so these are some Gucci loafers that I was able to get and they're gorgeous. They're black and they're, they're very thick leather um, actually and they have the tag on them that says Gucci the plate right across here and they're brand new they've never been worn they're um, incredible I am in the process of trying to stretch them out a little bit because they are so they're not bendable at all so they're a little tight across here um, but other than that they're an incredible loafer I actually love penny loafers um, both the flat ones and the heels so when I saw these, I had to have them. I thought they were gorgeous. And again, the plate across, they're just fantastic. So that's the first pair. Um, and this pair I was actually able to get from Yugi's Closet during one of their recent sales. And they came with the dust bags that say Gucci. And they have never been worn. They are, again... See, on the bottom of them, never been worn. And I, I seem to, I don't know why, but I seem to be really lucky at getting shoes that have either never been worn or or something like that. But I, I, I don't know. It's just something I seem to do. And I'm not complaining because I love to wear these kinds of shoes and I get them. So anyway, here is the top of the shoe. And again, it has the plate that says Gucci. And I'll try to get close or, you know, at an angle where you can see. I, I, it looks like you can see it. Um, and I love these. They're like a caramel color, um, maybe a three and a half, maybe four inch heel. And again, Gucci, and they're wonderful. And I got these from Yugi's Closet, which I was super excited to get because I had my eye on them for a while. And when they had their sale, I thought it was my opportunity to snag them, so I did. The other pair that I got that I wanted to share with you is a, is a purchase. I actually just got these. There's actually kind of a story to these shoes. They were on the Fashion File Outlet, which is on eBay, um, and I bid on both of them. And I when I started, I was bidding on the brown ones. And then I saw the black ones, and I was bidding on the black ones. And then I couldn't decide which ones I wanted, so I just kept bidding, and they they actually closed, I think, like five minutes apart or whatever and so I was able to get them and then uh, it's been a, just a whole saga they were being boxed to send to me and they I think they got put in the wrong box um, or something with the wrong label and they ended up going to another state and they were supposed to get returned um, within 24 hours it, it, just, it was I finally got them after it literally like two three weeks but I gotta say the lady over at Fashion File has been fantastic, and I'd like to say um, thank you to her because she was great. She actually shared with me everything that was going on. She was very apologetic. I mean, honestly, I, I would shop there again. She she was just fantastic. The customer service was bar none, um, and mistakes happen, so I don't get worked up about that. Anyway, the end result, actually, I can't complain, so let me share these with you. So, these shoes come in the Gucci box. And they also have the Gucci dust bag with them. And these shoes are brand spanking new. Here is my proof, proof of purchase. Um, it just says Fashion File. Um, it, again, it's their outlet, but it just says Fashion File. Um, so that's what you get. And then this, they come with the, the card that talks about the the Gucci product and the leather and, and that kind of stuff in all the, the different languages. 
And then it also came with the, the Gucci booklet that comes with, and, and they've, it's never been opened, see? They're just, and then the shoes themselves were inside these plastic bags. So, and here is the shoe. It's the Gucci logo on the front with the little green and red ribbon. And these are probably, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I can not not seem to stop dropping things. Um, these are probably three inch heels. I usually wear between three and four and a half inch heels. Usually no higher. Um, so these were perfect because then I could go to work in them. But these again, as you can see on the bottom, have never ever been worn. They do have a, a leather lining. They say Gucci made in Italy. And I, see right there? I love the, the bottom when it's leather. It feels so soft like suede. And then on the inside, but these shoes are fantastic. So this was the first pair. And then here is the second traveling pair of shoes that I got. And again, they also come in the Gucci box. Again, they have, oh, and, and my other pair, I don't know if I said this, but my other pair also came with the card from Fashion File as well inside the box, just like I ordered it from their website. And again, here's my proof of purchase for this pair because they were two separate options, so I had to bid on them. And again, these shoes also come with the shoe bags. And again, here's the inside of the box. And I didn't show you the other one, but it looks exactly like this. These are brand new shoes in the boxes. And here is what they call cocoa. It's a dark, dark brown. It's not black, but it's like super dark brown. Um, and again, here is the logo. And here are the shoes. And they say Gucci made in Italy. And they're so soft in the bottom, but they've never been worn. And I just love them. So, that's the Gucci shoes that I have gotten. And I wanted to share with you, you know, some, some super deals that I got on these shoes. Because they were fantastic prices um, for, for every last pair of these shoes that I got. So, I'll be wearing them in good health. Now, to get to... Like the most exciting thing. This box actually, I literally just opened. I was actually trying to tape this video and I realized that I, I had hit the button by mistake, so I didn't realize it. So I did just open this box and I hadn't seen what was into it up until a few minutes ago. But just, you know, just so you know, Gucci just sends your stuff in a regular cardboard um, box. It doesn't, it, it doesn't say. Gucci on the inside, like Fashion File or, you know, Louis Vuitton. It's, it's just literally a regular box that comes from their service center. This particular item, as I said, I, I bought it from an estate sale ooh, probably two years ago. And I was going to sell it because it just kind of sat there and I thought maybe I had made a mistake and I wasn't going to use it. So I was going to sell it. I tried to sell it. It didn't sell. I put it back in the closet. I was cleaning out my closet and I came across it and I thought, okay, I really need to make a decision. Am I going to sell it, keep it, whatever? So I thought, well, let me go to Gucci and see if they can repair the lining. You know, and if they can, then I will. Well, I went to Gucci on Rodeo, and they actually were stunned when they saw this bag. The guy actually said, where'd you get this? And I said, I got it at an estate sale. And there was a lady who was in there. She was a salesperson, too, and he called her over, and he said, she's actually been here for 35 years. The lady took a look at the bag and said, um, that bag is looks like it's almost in the condition with the exception of the lining on the outside that it was in. And I remember when we sold these on the floor. So anyway, let's get to this so you can see it. So Gucci returned it in this bag, um, which is quite a bit bigger than the actual item. So I'm probably going to end up, because I was lucky enough when I bought this bag to actually get its original dust bag which i will show literally the lady who owned this i don't know if she bought these bags and then changed her mind but they were just sitting on the shelf in their dust bags but here is the bag it's i believe it's the half moon bag by gucci and it came this bag was in production in i think the early to mid 
70s. But anyway, it has the GGs right here. And then it has the canvas with the GGs. And I, I really want to try to get this so that you can see what condition this bag is in. Um, if you look at it, you look around the edges, there is absolutely nowhere on this bag whatsoever. I mean, it's it was honestly an incredible find. And that's the kinds of things I'd like to also make these videos be about is sharing incredible finds because there are some incredible secondhand and vintage finds out there. Um, you know, as Fashion File says, used is the new new. This is a perfect example of, of that. And they stuffed it when they sent it back to me. But anyway, I had this strap um, reinforced since it was there. They told me it was going to take about eight weeks to get this purse redone. It took almost six weeks just for them to evaluate it because before they do anything they evaluate the bag I guess to make sure it's authentic which um in this case it was which was another reason why I did this because I just wanted to make sure being that it was an estate sale fine um and it was and the condition to see if the bag can actually tolerate being taken apart and put back together so when I called about it yesterday to see if it was finished and on its way the lady says, oh, I remember that bag. She says, we were all amazed at the age of that bag and the condition. She said, it's actually listed in the computer as excellent. She said, I've never seen that for a vintage bag. She said, so we were just all talking about the condition of this bag. And again, if, if you look at it, you will see, I mean, it's, it's, it was just incredible. So... Um, in the inside of the bag, which I'll take out the paper that they stuffed it with, which I really appreciate that they stuffed it, um, I had the, the leather lining replaced. And I have to figure out how to do something a little bit better because I know you can't see that. But the, the leather in the inside has been totally redone. Um, in the inside pocket, it says, Gucci made in Italy, and it has a little sign. And then also the pull tab on the inside of the purse. See? Has been replaced. And the purse is just, you know, it's just in immaculate condition. And it's wow. And so now I have a brand new to me vintage Gucci bag in excellent condition she said she's never seen that put in the, in the system and if i didn't say that and then let me just show you the pull tag um the pull tag has the gg on it so i will use this in very good health so the other thing i did want to show you is because i told you that it comes the bag actually came with its original dust bag which it did so this is the bag that it actually came in and this is what at home is and will be for this bag again. Now that she is back, when I'm not using her, she will be in her home. And I'll probably save the Gucci bag. I'm sure, knowing me, I'll come across some other Gucci purse that <laughs> I will need to hide. And um, <laughs> I just found the price tag on this. Oh my God, really? I... I bought this bag for $40. You probably can't see it. I don't know if you can or not. But there's the price tag that I paid for this. I, I, I'll have to stick this on the inside of the bag because I probably won't remember it. Um, so here I have a vintage, brand new to me, pristine condition Gucci bag. Authenticated by Gucci because it's been repaired um, that I purchased at a estate sale for $40. So, again, this just goes to show you, you can turn over a treasure anywhere. So, this is what she look like when she's um, back on the shelf, when I'm not using her, in her original dust bag, which was another find. Because I, I love my purses. I actually keep all my purses in dust bags. And when I can find the original dust bag with a purse, it just makes it even more special to me. So, in this case, I mean, what can I say? And then I'll just save this bag for my next Gucci item. Anyway, thank you for sharing with me. Again, I want, hope to bring you more of these as I am always out and about at consignment stores or 
um, estate sales. It's just my stress reliever and it's a fun thing to do. So anyway, thank you and continue to have a good night.